Hi everyone, my name is Silas Q and welcome to my channel. If you are returning subscribers of mine, hi there, how are you guys doing? Welcome back. And if you're newcomers, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. This way, every time I upload new videos, you guys get notified. It's super easy, it's free, and yeah, I show up in your newsfeed every time I upload a new video. So make sure to subscribe. Today's video is going to be a review slash first impression video of this foundation right here. It's the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. This is how it looks. It's so pretty. I love the packaging first off. Uh, look at this detail in purple and gold. I think it's so cute. I'm in the color Tan Sand. It is formulated without parabens, mineral oil, uh, how do you say this? Pilates, I don't know how to say that, sorry. Triclosan, sodium, laurel, sulfate, gluten, and it is dermatologist tested. Now, before I tell you guys what it promises it can do, I don't even know what it promises to do, to be honest with you, and I like it that way. This way, I can give you my honest opinion throughout the whole process. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it throughout the day, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you guys what it promises. I find that it's so easy for you guys to read up on your own what it's supposed to do because you could just Google that. And at the end, that's when we could compare and contrast if you guys like. First off, I have the brush to apply it with. And this is a foundation brush and a spatula. This is how it looks like. It's so pretty. It's gold and it has, like it says, a little tiny baby spatula. It is so soft and fluffy. I love how it feels. To be fair, I'm going to prime my face like I normally do because, let's face it, I have really oily skin. So I want to do this as I normally would when I apply any foundation. Because I'm pretty sure most of you guys wear a primer. I'm going to do half of my face with the brush that I guess, you know, you're supposed to do it with. And I'm going to do half of my face with a beauty blender because I actually normally just use a beauty blender. I'm going to prime my face with these two primers. As always, if you watch my videos, you already know that. So first, I'm going to apply my Maybelline primer and then I'm going to apply my NYX primer. As you can see, I have pretty bad skin and this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation so it should be able to hide all the scars let me open it comes like so and it has that little thingy to pull up to separate the foundation from the actual cover and <laughs> did you see my face just now uh, it looks like this so it's goop <laughs> and a lot of it is on the cover and let me be honest with you, right away, right now, I I don't like how the foundation is in this weird little container and it's so messy. One layer on each side. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put on two layers so I could have full coverage. Dot it again, kind of where my problem spots are. Because I'm not going to lie, I hardly use concealer like to hide my problem spots because I'm lazy. It feels so lightweight. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a foundation. So that's awesome. My skin right now, it feels moisturized. It feels really nice and soft. It doesn't feel like it's drying my face out or that I'm wearing a foundation. It feels like I have on a nice lotion on my face. I love how it feels. It oxidized really nicely. Let me give you a close-up of how everything looks. I don't even think that I layered it up enough, but on a regular day for me, I think this is amazing and you could definitely build up on it as much as you like. It does feel a little oily. Like I said, it's really <laughs> moisturized and so it, it looks oily as well. I'm pretty sure I kind of look like a piece of fried chicken. I need to set this because right now I just put it on and it's definitely not matte. So I applied my makeup as I normally would. It could have covered more scars or I thought it would cover it better. I still feel greasy. I set it with powder already so I don't know. It's more of a dewy finish for me and maybe it's not that great for people with oily skin. But yeah, that's how I feel about it right now. I will come back a little later and update you guys on what I think about it and how it's going. Hey guys, I'm back. I had a pretty long day. I'm not going to lie. It is 8.42 p.m. So now I'm going to give you my final verdict of what I think about this foundation because it is pretty late in my book, 8.42. I'm ready to just 
relax, wash all this makeup off. I time stamped everything so I don't remember the exact time but I believe I first applied this foundation at around 11 something or so. It hasn't been that long. It's like what, seven, eight hours, give or take. And I feel like my other drugstore foundation did a better job, okay? Like I told you guys before, I would tell you what it promises that it will do and I will tell you if it did that for me, yes or no, basically. It promises to smooth skin in with this radiant full coverage foundation with skin loving ingredients wrapped in a luxurious creamy gel. The unique oil-free blend of smooth and plumping and pore refining ingredients help brighten skin while moisturizing and blurring the look of fine lines and pores. It did not blur my pores out. Imagine if I didn't prime my face, how bad I would have looked by now. I primed it, I used my pore eraser, and this thing still didn't completely erase my pores. It says oil-free, but you know, I'm still a grease ball there. Blur in the look of fine lines and pores. It didn't do that. The coolant hypoallergenic gel feels like a drink of water for your skin. Yes, it felt very moisturizing. Even after I set it with powder, it was still greasy. While masking any redness, dark circles, acne, uneven skin for skin tone for 12 hour wear across skin types. 12 hour wear. Guys, it's just like 7 8 hours and no, it did not do its job at all. Honestly, a lot of the things that it says it does, it didn't do for me. My skin type is oily, so maybe that's why, but it says it's oil free and it's supposed to be hydrated once again. It was hydrated. It didn't feel like I was wearing makeup on my face. I could have layered it up, what, three, four times, but I never do that. I never put that much foundation on my face and I'm able to get a good coverage of where my acne doesn't show at least for a good while until it, you know, melts off and it's the end of the night. But with this one, I did two layers and it was still showing and peeking through a little and it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be full coverage, right? So I guess I'm supposed to use what? Concealer with this? It defeats the purpose. And second of all, like I said, I used primers, two primers and this is still how it looks and it promises to give 12 hours of coverage. So yeah that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed my first impression slash review i kind of wanted to do both in one this way you saw my initial reaction and then you got my full honest review because i used it for the entire day basically and honestly if i kept going this would just be off my face and drip it on the floor. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this first impression slash review video. I had so much fun filming it for you guys because it's just so easy to sit down and talk to you guys about how I feel about a product. I love doing that. I love sharing my honest opinion about things with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Let's see what else. I think that's about it. Share this video if you want. It's totally up to you. But yeah, that's it. I guess I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is